Hi everyone, this is Larry for BeckyHiggins.com and today I'm going to talk to you about some tips on how to prepare your layouts prior to uploading them for printing at DigitalProjectLife.com. If you have ordered templates from DigitalProjectLife.com in the past, you should have received an email with an updated link for new templates. These updated templates are print ready. When you open your folder for your new download, you should see a subfolder that says print ready templates and then you will also see your original templates. If you are creating a template for the first time, we encourage you to go ahead and use the print ready templates so that they will be ready to print and you won't have to make any sort of adjustments. Also included in the folder are the original templates. You can use those as well, but keep in mind that if you would like to print with us, that you will have to make some adjustments prior to uploading. As a comparison, I want to show you the same layout used in two different templates. They are both using the rounded corner template, but this one over here on the left is a print ready template and you can see that it has a wider border going all the way around. This one over here on the right is the original template and you see that it has a thinner border going all the way around. The problem with this border is that these pockets are too close to the edge and they risk being cut off and printing. We have spent a lot of time figuring out the perfect border width so that your layout will print beautifully no matter if you're printing individual prints or if you're printing them in a book. So what happens if you've used one of our original templates, like the one over here, and you still want to print it? I'm going to show you how you can fix that really easily before you upload your print. I'm going to open up Photoshop Elements so I can show you how to make the necessary adjustments so that your layout still prints beautifully. Over here in the Layers palette, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and select my top layer and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to choose everything except for my background layers down here. So to choose everything, I'm going to hold down my shift key and then I'm going to click my last layer. You will see that it has selected all of my layers. Now if I zoom out a little bit, you can see really faintly around my layout that I have this bounding box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the corner transform handles and down here at the bottom in the tool options, I'm going to make sure that this constrained proportions box is checked. Then for my width, I'm going to set it to 95% and then my height will automatically go to 95% as well. Then I'm going to click on the green check mark box to commit my changes. Now if I zoom back in, you will see that it has resized all of my pockets and all of my elements in my pictures beautifully and then my background layer is still the same it's still a 12 by 12 layout but I have this nice wide border here so that when it's printed and when it's trimmed I don't lose any of my important stuff in my pockets once I have my pockets resized I can go ahead and save it and upload it for printing if I was using full version Photoshop the process is very similar I would go to my layers palette scroll all the way to the top select my top layer, scroll all the way to the bottom, and select my bottom layer. Now remember, I don't want to select my background layer. So this is my pattern paper layer, and this is my background layer. I don't want to change those. So I'm choosing the layer right above that, holding shift, and then click. You will see that all these layers are selected. Now this bounding box has appeared. Click down on the corner transform handle. Up here at the top, I want to click on this chain which means it's going to constrain my proportions between my width and my height. I'm going to type in 95 and my height automatically changes to 95 and then I can check on the green check mark box to commit. Now that these pockets are resized, you're ready to save it and to upload it for printing. Now once again, just to clarify, you only need to go through this resizing process if you've used our original templates or if you are using a template from another site. If you are using our print ready templates, you do not have to resize them. They are ready to go. If you have any questions, you can email us at digital at beckyhiggins.com.